Come on. Damn it. I'm playing with the PlayStation Move. So realistic. The PlayStation Move is Sony's foray into the future of gesture-based gaming. Or in reality, a way to tap into Nintendo's Wii money. Which it's because of the Nintendo Wii that the PlayStation Move is coming out to a lot of skepticism among gamers. I'm very skeptical of it myself, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to give it a fair chance. Which is what I'm going to do right now. Now I'm going to concentrate more on the controller itself rather than the games. So it's going to be more about the functionality of the device rather than if the games are good or not. Now I got the PlayStation Move bundle. This costs about $100 and it gets you one remote, the PlayStation Eye, and the Sports Champions game. It sounds like a lot, but it is a lot cheaper than trying to get them all separately. Now the remote itself is surprisingly comfortable. It's about the same size as the Wii remote, but it's rounded and less rough in your hands. The trigger on the bottom feels great. It's soft press and has just the right amount of push to it. The top side buttons are good too. The move button is naturally right by your thumb, and you can quickly shift to the X, circle, square, or triangle buttons. The only buttons that are awkwardly placed are the start and select buttons. They're off to the side, and for the most part, it's impossible to press them without shifting your hand, or using your other hand to grab it and then press the button. Anytime I saw a picture of the move, I always assumed that the orb at the top was some sort of hard plastic, but it's not. It's soft and squeezable, which is good, because I always thought it looked kind of fragile. As far as the controller itself is concerned, I like it. It feels very natural to hold and easy to use. It's a very positive start. But now let's put it to the test by playing some sports champions. First up is disc golf. Well, first thing I learned about disc golf is I suck at disc golf. All right, it's actually following my hand pretty well. Twist it, bring it upside down, face the other way, and shift side to side, and I'll follow it that way too. So the whole thing feels pretty accurate. It's not revolutionary or anything, but, you know, it works. Alright, next up is ping pong. It doesn't quite feel like what I'm doing is translating onto the screen at all. It's hard to explain without playing it. Like, it follows my hand back and forth right. It doesn't feel like what I'm hitting is what's happening on screen. I'm hitting this as hard as I can, and, like, it won't go any faster. I'm trying to do, like, those... You ever see those really hardcore ping pong players where like they throw it up and they smash it and then they're like going back and forth really, really fast? That's what I'm trying to do. Or I could just lose. All right, let's try volleyball. You can bump, set, and spike. The game moves your guy for you, so all you have to do is just hit the ball with your hands. The gestures work, I guess, but pretty much all you're doing is this at different times, so. Cool. This is like a lot slower, less fun version of tennis in Wii Sports. This is kind of lame. Next up, Achi Ball. It's Bachi Ball. Moving on. Oh, here we go. Archery. Wait, two controllers? Yeah, that's right. In order to get the full experience on some games, you need to use two motion controllers. You know what that means? I had to buy a second one! I kind of feel like I should be in a rave. Now I actually did archery for about four years, so I'm kind of curious to see how accurate this is to the actual experience. 
And it isn't. Reach back, knock an arrow, and you pull it back. You aim with the other move, and then you let go. Now I'm sure this is how the game wants you to play, but you don't need to. Here's how it actually works. You still reach back and you grab the arrow, then you bring it towards the other move controller, and then you just kind of keep them separated from each other, and then you aim. Which I'm okay with, because just doing this for about, I don't know, about a minute or so, you know, my arms are already getting tired. Alright, last one on here, Gladiator Duel. This is awesome! This is really fun! If they made this into a full-fledged game, I would say buy a move just for this. This is a lot of fun. The only downside, I guess I can say, is make sure you take some breaks, because otherwise you're going to get your arms tired really, really fast. Those are the games in Sports Champions. I still want to get a better idea of the functionality of the move, and luckily, in that bundle that I bought was a demo disc containing about a dozen or so games that also used the move. Let's try these! The first one that caught my eye was the new Time Crisis game. Let's see how fun it is with the new PlayStation Move controller. All I'm doing is pointing and pressing the trigger button until all the bad guys fall down. There's like no challenge whatsoever. I mean, aside from the fact that it doesn't really feel like the pointing is accurate at all, which it isn't, it's just, it's just not the same as actually playing the game with a gun controller in the arcade. The pointing is pretty bad on it. Next up, Kung Fu Rider. He plays a Japanese office worker who escapes in a Yakuza by going downhill on an office chair. Don't ask me. This one doesn't really matter so much on the tracking or the movement, it just, again, just kind of follows your gestures, which... I don't really know what's going on. All you need to do is the different gestures, but none of them really seem to be perfect to what I want to do. Oh, this game sucks, don't buy it. Oh, here we go, iPad. I keep hearing a lot of good things about this one. Here's the most important point of all. You're going to be playing with your iPad on the floor. So you'll have to tilt your camera all the way down. Wow, now I can see you. There you are, wonderful. You see that space? That's for your iPad to run, jump, <sighs> catch, right. and play. We're sending over one of our iPads to play with. Mm, this is a bit embarrassing, but I don't think we gave this iPad a good enough wash. This is really lame. Over. You'll need your motion controller for this. This is really awkward to do, because I'm basically playing into a mirror. So I've got a mirror image of myself on there, but I'm still trying to aim this at what I guess it would be if it were here in front of me, but it's not in front of me, it's a big animal. I feel like an idiot. You can see how bad the camera really is when you're playing this game. Like compared to the commercials that they keep showing you, this is nowhere near as nice. I know this is supposed to be a game for like kids and stuff, but Pretty sure even kids would get bored of this crap really, really fast. I just, I feel really dumb playing this. TV Superstars, what is this? Hello and welcome to TV Superstars. I'm Amber Bell, and I'm here to get ah. you started on your way to TV Superstardom. That's unsettling. I guess I can make my own guy. Let's try that. Oh no, it's gonna make me do this. Something tells me I'm gonna regret this. That does not look good at all. Welcome to Let's Get Physical! Okay, does this the weird you out? It awesome isn't just action. me, right? Guess I'm just supposed to run and jump over the fists. So I guess this game is pretty much the move version of all those really crappy party games that you see appearing on the Wii all the time. But they do share one thing in common. It's not very fun. 
only want to do one more on here. Beat Sketcher. We draw on the screen and then music starts playing. Well, it certainly follows the motion controller, no problem. Those were all new games designed with the PlayStation Move in mind, but there have been a select few previous titles that have been updated to use the PlayStation Move. And what better way to show how immersive motion controls can be than with the self-proclaimed immersive cinematic experience, Heavy Rain. If you haven't played this yet, this is your spoiler warning. Jason! 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 It's so immersive. Jason! I'm just playing around. Jason! Jason! Now, here's the thing with Heavy Rain. You can play it with the PlayStation Move, but you still need an analog stick in order to move around. Well, the PlayStation Move doesn't have an analog stick on it. Do you know what that means? It means I'm supposed to buy one of those navigation controllers that has an analog stick on it. Well, thankfully, you can just use a DualShock controller instead. Nothing awkward about this. It feels like it's working for the most part. Sometimes you get those really awkward quarter circle motions. You know, what I'm doing with the move doesn't really seem to be matching up with the game. And then I died. It feels unintentionally a lot more difficult trying to use the move this game. It kind of goes to show you that you always get a lot more precision just with the analog stick. That pretty much covers everything the PlayStation Move has to offer. The motion controls work fine, but I still prefer a standard controller. And I can easily see this thing gathering dust. That's why my final rating for this device is a Wii out of 10. I know, it's a cliche comparison, but that's what it boils down to. They're both similar in functionality, most of the games are gimmicky with only a few standout titles, and are certainly targeted towards mainstream casual audiences. The Move and the Wii are on equal ground when it comes to gestures and pointing, but the Move is better at tracking thanks to the glowing orbs and the PlayStation Eye. I do wish the camera was of higher quality, and I think that's going to hold it back in the long run. I do see potential in the Move to make it superior than the Wii, but frankly, there aren't any games coming out to prove that, at least not anytime soon. And by the time they do, it'll probably be too late. My biggest gripe is the low quality camera. To me, it seems wasteful not to improve upon the technology and deliver a truly new experience. Why can't somebody make motion controls work with a really fancy camera? Wait.